morning, Idaho. It is 546 on this Friday morning. Temperature is very similar to what we've been seeing pretty much all week long. Cloud cover out there is keeping it fairly mild, but that also means there's some showers that could work through. And if we see these spotty showers, it's likely these numbers will drop a little bit more with evaporational cooling moving through with those showers. 55 degrees in Twin Falls, where clearer skies are allowing for that radiational cooling to happen. Heading through the next few mornings, especially in those mountain areas, plan for some cold ones because once the clouds clear out and we dry up, we'll see those temperatures drop a little bit further, maybe even the low 50s for the valley locations. You can see those spotty showers moving through the Owyhees, headed up from the southwest to the northeast, and we could actually see some of those sprinkles here in Boise within the next couple of hours. Another wave of energy pushing in off the Pacific. Look at all the showers that are moving through central Oregon and also central Washington, headed into our west central and east central mountains, where our best chance for showers and thunderstorms will be into the afternoon. This is pushing ahead of another cold front, if you can believe it. This cool front that's moving through probably around midday today will give us a little extra push, a little extra uplift for those storms to fire up in the Treasure Valley. So let me show you what Futurecast is predicting. A few of those isolated showers that do pop up in the afternoon, mainly favoring our northern zones, but you can see them firing up in Malheur, Harney counties. They don't really hold together as they make it into southwestern Idaho, but there's still a chance. Maybe north of Emmett, also into the Boise Mountains, west central mountains, you can pretty much count on it. But heading into the weekend, really the camping forecast for Saturday and Sunday is shaping up to be so much nicer than what we originally thought at the beginning of the week. Once those clouds start to clear out tomorrow night, we just keep all of the pops, the probability of precipitation to our northern zones. And look at this, clear skies in the west central mountains. That's why I think those temperatures will be so cold. But hopefully you won't have any rain on your parade if you're headed to pitch a tent in our mountain areas. Here's a look at the Treasure Valley forecast. Mid to upper 70s in most locations. Still a chance of seeing those thunderstorms fire up. It may not be where you are, but you could see it coming in the distance, a lot like what we saw yesterday. In the Magic Valley, thunderstorms could be a possibility here as well. A light breeze out of the west at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And in the mountains, a whole lot cooler. We know that. You can plan on these temperatures warming by about 5 degrees heading into Saturday and Sunday, but low 60s for the Long Valley today, right around 70 for Boise County. East Central Mountains looking at those temperatures throughout the 60s, making it up to 71 in Fairfield. And a look at my on your side extended forecast. Cash shows a gorgeous, picture perfect weekend, more sunshine in store for us. And then heading into next week, look at the boost of those temperatures. We are flirting with triple digit temperatures. And I saw a commercial yesterday, not an endorsement because I can't even remember who it was, but they said, <laughs> guess correctly the first triple digit day and we'll give you a free air conditioning unit or something like that. And I was 